Austin and Sean are such morons. Well, Austin is your brother. Yeah, and the other one's my boyfriend. You really know how to pick winners, don't you? <laughs> Should we help them? There's no point. They're too drunk to understand. They're like animals. Speaking of animals, how are you and Sean? Oh, we're... we're fine. Have you had sex with him yet? Really, Layla? Well... No. No, I mean, not yet. Oh, so you want to have it with him? I don't know. Maybe? Well, now's your chance. He's totally wasted. Do you think? It'll be perfect. It'll be like a dream to him. Magical yet? Nay. And you won't have to worry about him judging you. Alice, do you think you're ready for it? Hey, how's it going, my lady? I should probably go. think you're doing? Huh? I leave for 36 hours and you throw a fucking party? I didn't raise a fucking slut bag. Or did I? No, no, you didn't, I swear. I didn't? Then why'd I just walk into this? Explain that!
hardly even look at you right now. If I ever see you running around with that boy again, I'll kill you. <laughs> so much anymore. So, how mad was he? He was furious. I thought he was going to explode or something. I'm so sorry. I, I feel like this is all my fault. Sean, don't think that for a second. Last night was amazing. It was worth it. What happened to everyone else, anyways? When did they leave? I, I don't even care. Last night was all about you and me. That's all that matters. Yeah, of course. Hey, I gotta go now, but I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. I love you. Bye. Sean told us what happened last night. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Do you want to stay overnight at one of our houses? I can't. I, I would love to, but my dad doesn't want me out of the house today. Oh. Did he? Yeah. Well, if he doesn't want you out of the house, can we come in then? No. No, you can't. I mean, he's really pissed off right now. He has the guts to kill both of you. Damn, sorry I asked. No, no, it's... it's okay, it's not your fault. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. Alice, it's not your fault. Don't be like that. Your dad's just a psycho. You and Sean had a great last night. Isn't that what really matters? Alice! Sorry, but you guys have to get out of here now. You know, you could say please. No, oh, seriously, please just leave. I'm sorry. Well, that was a little weird. Did you see the look on her face when her dad called her name? Yeah. Like, I haven't seen her that scared since her mom died in fifth grade. Does she seem different to you? Different? How? Like, she's changing. Something about her seems unusual. Like, I can't exactly describe what it is. She seems sort of... distant. That's what I was thinking, but she usually tells us when something's wrong. Right? <laughs> I thought I was talking to you. I know, just be cool. Don't drive anything to us. I'm not here. You got a problem with that girl? Oh, look what my boots kick up from the dirt. Scarlet Taylor. Or should I say Scarlet Tay Whore? What do you want, Natalie? How's my boyfriend treating you? What boyfriend? You know exactly what boyfriend. And you know exactly what I mean, you ungrateful whore. Do you remember? Because I remember everything. You're insane. Am I? I'm not the one sleeping around with taking guys. Feel good during all this? Because how would you feel if someone screwed your boyfriend? Shut up! Bye, Natalie. Yeah, you better walk away. But just wait. You'll get what's coming for you. What the hell was that all about? I don't want to talk about it. Just keep walking.
try to degrade me in front of you. What was she even talking about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Was all that true? Was it? Some of it. But she was some of it way out of proportion. How was it blown out of proportion? What did you do to her? Just forget about it. And her boyfriend? I made a mistake, okay? It was three years ago and she blames me for everything. Lucky she just get over and leave me alone. Calm your kids. Sorry I asked. Seriously, don't worry about it. <sighs> he needs some air. So, how often does the personality disorder affect people each year? I told you, it's called dissociative identity disorder. What are you, psychiatrist? It says here that about one in every 120,000 people are affected by it each year. It affects females more than it does males. People who have this disorder often have one alternate personality, or several that they have no control over. Ooh. <laughs> it sounds kinda cool though. What would it be like to know somebody who had a flip personality? I think it would be kind of scary. Die, you stupid zombie! Damn. <laughs> you find yourself a winner, haven't you? He does this every day. It it doesn't really bother me much. I think it's kinda cute. Thanks, sweetie. Austin, I'm working here. You can take a break. You're right. I can take a break. You can do my project for me. Perfect. Any reason you made Olivia leave the room? Yeah, I have a legit reason that I want to be alone with you. I have a serious question to ask you. Oh, okay. What is your thought on me and Olivia? You mean your relationship? Yeah, like how do you think it's going for us? Um, well, I've never been in a relationship before, but I guess you guys are really good together. I mean, you're always happy, so I guess it's like a perfect relationship. You really think so? Totally. Good, because I've been thinking the same thing. In fact, you know that the day of her birthday is the day of our graduation, right? Yeah. And we've been dating for three years now. I want to take our relationship to the next level. That's stupid. I was pretty good at them when I was your age. What subject is it in? English. I can help you with it. No, thank you. Father, and you will do as I say. No! No. That's your game, huh? Disobey your father? 
if I were you, I'd change the rules before I change them for you. <laughs> You're lucky that this is an old shirt, or you'd be in a hell of a lot more pain. here to save your little ass. Not even Riley. You can trust me. Promise you won't get mad? I won't. Just tell me. I made a mistake. We interrupt your program this afternoon to bring you some breaking news. Local high school student Scarlett Taylor has suddenly gone missing. Investigators report that she disappeared in the middle of the night, leaving no trace. Scarlett was always happy. She never seemed worried or scared or anything. Everything was perfectly normal before she disappeared. I just woke up in the middle of the night and she was gone. We're doing whatever we can to find her. Looking for clues as to what caused her to disappear and getting as many witnesses as possible. We, we will not give up on this case. We will search all day and night if we have to. If you hear or see anything in relation to her disappearance, please contact your local police station or us here at Channel 3. Our family is offering a large reward for whoever finds her. We will keep you all updated on this. Sorry, we're not taking any visitors. We're not here to visit. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Do you have a moment to talk? It's really important. It's about Scarlet. Please? Okay. That's it. That's all the information we have on Scarlett. Best of luck to you both in finding her. Thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mackenzie. Same to you. And if there's anything else you need, just give me a call. Thank you. Have a good day. Why are we going down to the basement? Have you forgotten what Skyla's hiding? She has so much more evidence back there that we need to know about. There's always something in the closet. What are you saying? There's just a wall behind the sheet. There is never just a wall behind a sheet. Ugh, oh, that smell. Scarlet, I thought you quit. What? There's something on the floor, reflecting the light. Isn't that Scarlet's ring? Yeah. Layla, open it up, see what it says. To 
whoever finds this note, I want you to know my last words. Forget is a loose term now because everything is much too late. I see no steps I can take to turn back time. I have reached the end. This is no ordinary message. This is a suicide note.